What's up, Fichero fam? For today, we're going to Calico Ghost Town. Oh, hi, Mac. First things first, let's grab some food. It's just straight whipped cream. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> that was such an insane meal. I've driven by Peggy Sue's so many times, seeing the signs and everything. It's an iconic 50s style diner. As you saw from the footage, such a great vibe as well. Again, phenomenal food. So now that we're fueled up, it's time for Calico Ghost Town, California. <laughs> Got to Calico, uh, driving through right now. Kind of cool. We have to park, I guess, and walk everywhere to see all the the ghosts and everything. Luckily, I'm a supernatural expert, so you know how to deal with all this. Oh, that's cool. I'm walking right now. I did not expect this at all. I thought it was gonna be more of like a super low-key thing. This is like a full-on town with like, experience. yeah, different shops, places, pretty cool. So unfortunately it is closed while we're here, but this, apparently the schoolhouse is the most haunted spot here. Looks pretty safe. Ah, oh, dang it. This is gonna be a tricky one. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, dang it. I'll try one more. Yeah. All right. Probably the best I'm gonna get. That looks cool. Stuff on the rock. Calico Ghost Town was such a unique experience. It was a former mining town that got abandoned around the 1890s. And I'm not gonna lie, walking around, there was a very kind of unique vibe. They did tell me certain parts of it were haunted. I will say I went there during the day, so I didn't see like any ghosts, but I will say there have been ghost sightings there when I talked to a lot of the people who work there. Now, when you first get there, it's $8 per person. So for the both of us, it was $16 to get in. The good thing, I will say they do accept credit cards. I was a bit worried because I feel like I never have cash on me. And in addition, the Calico Ghost Town is right along the 15 highway. So obviously, as you saw from the footage, grab some food beforehand at Peggy Sue's. But the good thing is we were on our way to Vegas. So it's a great location, let's say if you're traveling to Vegas or just going along the 15 highway to pull off for a little bit and check out the ghost town. And as you saw from the footage, it was kind of just, I don't even know what the right word is. Not eerie, but something I can't really describe of going into some of these old, you know, houses and whatnot that were kind of 
kept the same since the 1890s and certain buildings there were a bit newer other ones were kind of preserved from the original time they were built so the saloon for example when talking to them they said the saloon was the exact way the saloon looked from when it was built all the way up until now in addition there is a train ride you can take they also have ghost tours we didn't do any of that just because we were just there for maybe an hour or two walking around but what a cool experience like i said a very unique vibe just walking around all the shops is one of those places that you could tell that just has a lot of history 